Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as section 5.4 continues, remember the directions ask us to factor completely. The first step in this factoring problem is to take out the GCF, which in this case would be 4x. It's the largest algebraic expression that comes out of all three terms. In parens, we're left with 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. The 4x stays in front, but this trinomial can be factored as 3x minus 5 times x plus 1. Again, trial and error. We needed a 3x squared in the front, so I used a 3x and an x. We needed a negative 5 in the back, so I chose to use a negative 5 and a positive 1. If you want to know that the middle term is correct, you do it by chin and grin. Chin is the little part. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Keep that in your head. And then the grin is the wide part, which is 3x times 1, which is 3x. Negative 5x combined with 3x gives me negative 2x. So that is the correct factorization. Okay, in this word problem, an area, an area of a rectangle is given to be 105 square feet. The length is 8 feet more than the width. Find the dimensions. When it says find the dimensions, that means find both the length and the width. I don't know the width, so I'll call it W in my diagram. W plus 8 would be the length, since the length is 8 feet more than the width. Remember how to find area of a rectangle. Area is length times width. So W times W plus 8 equals 105. When I distribute, I get W squared plus 8W equals 105. To solve an equation of degree 2, which is also called a quadratic equation, we're going to put it in standard form, which means descending power order equals 0, and we're going to factor it. When I factor this by trial and error, W plus 15 is one factor, W minus 7 is the other. Again, this is where you do your first outer inner last to make sure it's right. If I solve these two cases, one answer gives me negative 15 and the other gives me 7. The reason I'm saying no to negative 15, I can't have a width that's a negative, so I have to eliminate that. The only correct answer for W is 7. When I come back to my diagram and I plug in 7, I get the 7 feet is the width, and then the length would be 15 feet. 7 plus 8. Okay. And our last word problem here, let me go ahead and enlarge it a little bit and scroll down. Here we go. Find two consecutive positive integers whose product is 72. If I have consecutive positive integers, the first one would be x, the next one that comes right after it would be x plus 1. Product means to multiply. So x times x plus 1 is 72. When I distribute, I get x squared plus x. When I bring the 72 over, I get a negative 72, and this is equal 0. So I've put this quadratic equation in standard form. When I factor this expression, it factors as x plus 9 times x minus 8. When I set each of those to 0, the first factor or at the first x value would be negative 9, and the next x value would be 8. We can't use negative 9 because look at the problem. It says we're looking for consecutive positive integers, so we eliminate the negative 9, we keep the 8. Therefore, when I look back at the beginning of the problem, x is 8, x plus 1 is 9, my two answers are 8 and 9. One of the keys that I teach my own students in class is the more practice you get with factoring, the better you get. Trial and error method using chin and grin to back it up is excellent. And if you already know the AC method from your previous course, that's an excellent method too.